guys welcome back to another video it's your boy Bob boy Fred. today we're gonna to be discussing how i almost got canceled once again over some bullshit accusations that was just flat out not true all right so we're gonna be going over that and i'm gonna i'm gonna uh disclose this real quick i'm not going to show this girl's face her instagram page her name None of that shit. So when I edit this video, I'm going to try to block that out so she don't receive no hate whatsoever. But we are going to talk about your ass. That's 100% facts. We are going to discuss what has taken place um, because people need to know that Brazil is not a place that's just all milk and honey. All right. There's some there's some there's some some bullshit that goes on here that people just truly well I, I think they starting to see it more now because people are touching on it but i think a lot of people just want to come here thinking everything is sweet it's all beaches baddies and parties and vibes but there's a backside to all this shit uh so we're gonna be discussing it so you guys want to live in brazil travel to brazil so on and so forth whether you post content or not this could this could some this could be something that possibly uh affects you in the long run. All right, so let's get right into it, bro. Now on on this video right here, right uh, where we went to the waterfall. If you guys watch my content, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Dylan was with a young lady that invited us to go to the waterfall initially it was only for them right she wanted to show him around he said she was cool blah 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 so i'm like all right bet this would be dope footage for me to record my drone and and, and make a vlog out of it you know because you typically don't see people when they go to rio content creators they don't show waterfalls and nature shit like that so i thought you know what it'd be a little twist a little different spin to my channel Right, it's not something you commonly see, so it was it'll be some cool that I can rock with. <clears throat> so she invited she she allowed him to invite me and and Freddie to go to the waterfall. Right, so we we went up there, had a good time, everything is great. When I introduced myself to her, I'm like, okay, cool, like this is my name, blah blah blah. I'm a YouTuber. She seen the drone. She seen me filming. Everything, bro right everything everything was peaches and cream she was worried she was really focused on dylan her sister was there her sister's kids was there and there were some other guys there you've seen the video right at the end of the video i'm like yo dylan appreciate you for inviting me um and i and i said thank you for your your, your lady I, I talked to her like yo appreciate you for inviting us i thank you from the bottom of my heart it was a good time Thank you for showing us this. Blah, 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 blah. She was asking for a Dylan. She told Dylan that she was uh she wanted to see the drone footage and everything, right? It was no secret that I was recording. So um to, then she comes out and says she doesn't want my image associated with sex trafficking, sexual tourism. Uh you need to delete my videos off of your channel, right? So let's move to the next video, which sparked up this conversation. Uh, I believe it was this one here. Yeah, it was this one here. <clears throat> How was this one? Let's see. No, it wasn't this one. All right. It was... This one. This is the initial one that she was cool with, and it was a vibe, right? The waterfall. And then the next video. Is it this one here? Yeah. All right. So we went to we went to the club. So, all right, guys. So this club. So let me let me give you guys the backstory on this, so you can all make sense. This girl has already been with Dylan 
prior to us meeting them at this club called Hills. So she was in this video as well. <clears throat> um, so when we got there, Dylan had already been kicking it with her. They had already been hanging out. She had stayed at his crib already, blah, 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 right? The whole day prior. So then the day we went to the waterfall, this was that same day, right? So she literally kicked it. We kicked it with her all fucking day, bro. We got to the waterfall. I think it was like early in the morning, and we stayed there all day. So then by the time we got home, we showered and went to this club, and she invited uh, she invited us to go. It was like, hey, this is where we're going, blah, blah, blah. So she's there. And the club is not a vibe, bro. Like, it was, it was a cool spot, but the music was just not popping, and it was hella small. <laughs> I think on a better day, it could have been better, like I said in the audio on the video. So Dylan's like, yo, uh, we about to break out and go to a different spot. I was like, all right, bet, I'm down. So I'm like, shorty no? So he's like, yeah, I'm about to tell her right now. So he tells her, and she's like, I want to go too. And she, he's telling her, like, no, it's only the guys, bro. Like, we're only just... I'm here with my friends. I've been kicking it with you for a minute. At least just give us like two to three hours and then me and you will link back up on our own shit. She got pissed, bro. Like she was mad. She walked off from him. Like, bro, we he been with you all day. We have been with you all day. We don't want to just kick it with you and then we want to hang out with just guys and you still trying to hang around, bro. So he was like, no, like, I want to be with my friends. We can we can link up in like two or three hours, but I at least want to enjoy the night with my friends for a little bit. Right. So we end up leaving. So she she ended up watching. She ended up watching this video because, again, she just put the two and two together. OK, we left and we end up going to the street. So we went to uh, what is this? Lapa. We was going to the clubs and then she sees. Mind you, Dylan is single, bro. She's single. She don't own Dylan. And the thing is that you have to understand, bro, Brazilian women, I've told you guys this, are very territorial. Uh, if they like you, they like you, and they will make it known. In sometimes good ways and sometimes toxic ways that they don't, like, you You. You. you did what we, we did what we did in our own privacy. Now they feel like you're their boyfriend after this shit. Like, yo... I don't even live here. You don't even, you're not even from Rio. You know what I'm saying? Like we on vacation, like for you to just sit here and try to lock me down like that. No, bro. So anyways, we go into Lapa and if you haven't watched the video, I'm going to fast forward to this part here. Um, and in Brazil, <laughs> Jermaine Dupreeze, Dylan, Dylan. Uh, she, she saw this part right here. It got pissed i don't care what nobody say bro she got pissed dylan everybody knows i'm a vlogger i show my life from my point of view we vibing we having a good time i record history bro you know what i'm saying some people like it some people hate it i don't give a fuck who don't like it it's my channel if you don't like it unsubscribe bro you know what i'm saying but anyways so we out vibing having a good time and these are single men freddie's single dylan's single I'm not single. Everybody knows I'm with Durag Bay. Dylan calling me right now. What's up, bro? Yo, I'm a, I'm literally doing a live stream right now, uh, and I got you on speakerphone. But I'm doing a live stream reacting to these messages that she just sent me. Um, I'm gonna block out her name and her photo and shit like that. But I'm literally. Like, just retracing what the hell just happened. I'm explaining the backstory with the shit. Going back and playing a video with the, with the, with the, with the chick with the dump truck. <laughs> like, why, why she got pissed. Like, I feel like that's the real reason she got pissed. But, hey, but I'm going to hit you, like, as soon as I'm done, I'm down to go to the beach and, and relax. I need to talk to you as well about some shit. But give me, like, 10 minutes. I'll, I'll call you right back. All right. All right. So, yeah. So I, in my honest opinion, I've always said Brazilian women are jealous. Sometimes it's in a cute way, but sometimes it's a toxic way. In this instance, it was a toxic way because that's not There's one thing if Durag Bay is jealous. Right. Because that's normal. Like she really likes me. I really like her. We're we're in a uh, a relationship. So 
that's a different type of jealousy. Even before we were like official official, I knew I wanted to be with her. She knew she wanted to be with me. So I gave her that benefit of her wanting to claim me because I wanted her to claim me. Do you feel me? It's a difference, bro. Now, this chick is just is just pissed off because she see Dylan, a single guy, left the club to be with us, didn't want to be with her anymore, and saw her saw him talking to another girl in the street. Here we go. Yes, my boy. Shorty. <laughs> Shorty is pulling. I Bye guys. Shorty is playing a wacky. A wacky. Yes. <laughs> Bruh. So she ended up messaging me and was like, You're just out here filming girls' ass. Absolutely not. I'm really just saying bye. You can hear me in the video saying bye. I'm 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 just recording simply their conversation. We just vibe and having a good time. She didn't say shit about me recording. Did you see her? Ah, no filming, no filming. I don't, I don't want it. No cattle, no cattle, no film. My no film. No, no, no. Cattle. She ain't say none of that. She saw me filming. She was interacting with Dylan. Dylan looked at me. If I'm not mistaken, let me go back. My boy, shorty, <laughs> shorty is pulling. Hey, bye, guys. They, they saw it was three guys right there, and obviously they see me recording, and they don't give a shit about it. Not all Brazilians care about this shit. Only the ones who do crazy shit like this have an issue with it. Is it popular? No, but it's it's becoming a problem, bro. So nevertheless, Dylan got the girl number, and as he's rightfully has the rights to do so, he's single. You feel me? So she walk off, we were recording, you know, it's like, just like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so we take, so she also sent me a text message saying, you guys don't, you guys are so trusting to Brazilians. You guys are out there drinking gasoline in the streets. <laughs> That's gasoline. That is the most delicious gasoline I've ever tasted in my life. And the shit was bomb, bro. And we felt good. So if that's gasoline, I think we would have been extremely fucking sick after the fact. And we would have had problems internally. Maybe some bleeding from, from the mouth or from another areas. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a lot more shit going on. And not only that, in the same message, I'm not going to scroll all the way back up to her Instagram messages because it's just a lot of shit that she just talking. But she was like, she, she told Dylan um, that she asked that we do cocaine. And I'm like, nigga, what? Where did you get this vibe from? Where did you, where did you see us doing this? Where did you see powder residue on our nose what did you see this in my videos what did you see this in person what what made you think to put such a foul accusation on somebody that we do hard drugs i don't know what gringo she's ever met but i'm just like bruh this chick is really throwing shit at the wall and hoping it sticks so anyways now and then i started thinking about it I was like, ah, that's where she might have saw that shit. Remember, it was the video where we were sitting waiting for Dylan. It was his birthday. And we were sitting at the table. And I had put salt, which you could clearly see salt, right? Salt packets right there. I lined it up with, with the little card. And I was like, all right, Rudy, here you go. It's your turn. And then after that, I made a disclaimer. Guys, this is only salt. We don't do drugs. Right? Who the fuck does hard drugs, cocaine, in public with hundreds of people sitting around as an American, as a gringo in another country? Who the fuck does that, bro? Who does that? Anyways, 
back to Rio de Janeiro. So she's like, you guys drinking, you guys do cocaine, you're drinking gasoline in the streets, you're so trustworthy of Brazilians. Bro, this chick at at so far has spoke nothing. I speak highly about Brazil more than this chick does. She didn't say so much shit. She also gave me shit talking about the amount of prostitutes that are in Rio compare and I'm comparing tourist city to tourist city, Copacabana, Lapa, Leblanc, Ipanema, all that to Rio Vermelho, Baja, Ongina, all the places in Salvador, the tourist areas. Tourist areas versus tourist areas. You can ask Brazilians, bro. My barber, for instance, he's from Rio. He will tell you that there is a lot, and I mean high volumes of prostitutes in in the in the uh, tourist areas of Copacabana, Leblanc, Ipanema. In that area, there is a lot of prostitutes that are visibly noticeable. It's not a secret. It's not a secret. And for and I asked other Brazilians that shit, bro, and they like, yeah, bro, Rio Rio de Janeiro has way more in mass compared to Salvador or even other places. Sao Paulo might come second just because it's a large city, but compared to Salvador, it's not existent. You have to go online to find prostitutes. You you don't see them in the street. And in my opinion, as a guy who is not interested in prostitutes. That's a good thing for me and for all the subscribers that watch my YouTube channel that truly just don't want to deal with uh, prostitutes. Now, and she made it seem like you, you guys want to just throw your money and go to go get prostitutes and blah, blah. Where did you ever hear me promoting having sex with prostitutes? Not once. If anything... I tell people to avoid them at all costs because it's not worth it, bro. You have so many beautiful women in Brazil who are not working girls. So why would you even waste your time dealing with them? So, again, they just feel like all Americans, all gringos automatically just solely deal with prostitutes. That is false, 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 false. So she throwing, she just constantly throwing out accusations based off my opinion that I said there's a lot of working girls, there's a lot of prostitutes in Rio in the in the in the hot spots. There's a lot of them. Doesn't matter what time of day it is, where it's at. There's a lot of them compared to Salvador. Even Brazilians know this. So as a Brazilian woman saying that is kind of asinine, like it's crazy, bro. Anyways. I also said there's a lot of trans in those same areas. And for somebody who is not interested in trans, I don't care what the fuck you do, bro. If you want to be trans, then be trans. Be happy about it. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't make me sleep less at night. It doesn't piss me off. I can be in the same party with people who are gay, who are trans, who are LGBTQ, whatever the hell else letters they add. I don't care, bro. It doesn't bother me, right? I don't care. I'm not homophobic. It does not bother me. So let me just make that shit very clear. I walk up and down the street all the fucking time, wherever, no matter where I am in Brazil. If a gay guy looks at me, I ain't flipping out. I'm not going crazy. I'm not telling, what the fuck you looking? I ain't doing none of that. I'm not doing none of that. Because... What they like to see is what they like to see, bro. I can't help the fact that they think I'm attractive. Like I tell you guys, some of the gay guys in Brazil throw the best alley-oops, bro. So do not be offended if they looking at you a certain type of way. Because a lot of the times they'll hook you up with their finest homegirl. I've said this. I stamp that shit. I verify that shit. I certify that shit. Send it to the bank and cash it, bro. That's facts. Anybody that's been around me in person knows that's facts. I don't have no issue with gay people or lesbians or uh, trans. But my eyes see everything. There is a lot more of them in Rio in the hot spots than there is in Salvador. Am I wrong for making that judgment call from my personal opinion? No, bruh. So again, she made it seem as if like 
I'm disrespecting trans. I'm disrespecting uh, prostitutes or we're trying to find prostitutes. We're trying to just throw our U.S. dollars around. But like, what the fuck are you talking about? Right. So she's dead and she's and she's going she's all in Dylan's ear talking about this shit. And Dylan's telling me. So then she finally musters up the courage to hit me up. You need to delete my videos. You need to delete any video that I'm in. I'm going to the police. I'm reporting you. I'm processing you. Uh, you got 24 hours to delete this. I'm in touch with my lawyer, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on, bro? Literally, we made a wholesome video at the waterfall. And I thanked you. The next video, you was in the club with Dylan, and he was promoting your sister's clothing brand. Again, giving y'all free clout and putting you in a good light. Where did I ever disrespect you, your face, your image? Any of that shit. Never. I showed my girl this shit and she was like, just delete it, just delete it. I said, you know what? Why is it always the case of just, just delete it? As if they have the right to just throw false accusations. You know, Americans come here thinking you can just do whatever you want and and uh and and sleep around with prostitutes and 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 do this whole sexual tour. I'm just like, yo, what the fuck? She literally said that, bruh. So I'm giving you guys the backstory. So then, that's four here. So she's like, for, for people who don't know how to read, no disrespect, but I'm going to read this very quickly. So just listen. If you want to follow along, go ahead. She messaged me this today, this morning at 8. It was like, Fred, I write this with responsibility, with the responsibility of assuming that I have accepted a person's interpretation of their videos. I don't speak English. Time out. Now, there is people here who quote unquote speak English and speak a little English and they understand it because she was talking to us in English, right? She understands it a little, but she, she speaks English, bro. So what they'll do is if they don't understand fully, they'll they'll make false claims or they'll try to twist your words or they'll put it in Google Translate. And like the one chick that got pissed off and threatened to process me and take me to take me to court and get a lawyer because I said these chicks. And then, bro, that's a normal fucking thing. Like I, I didn't call you a bitch. I didn't call you a, 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 a prostitute. I didn't call you nothing disrespectful. That's just another word for a, a woman, bro. Like, hey, I just met these chicks. We met these cool ass chicks. We're friends now. She put it in translator. And it's like, you called us chickens. This is disrespectful. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> what? So, yeah, bro. Yeah. And she and then I finally I finally like made her realize that this is not a bad or a derogatory thing. This is just in Brazil they have hundreds of names for women that are just normal names, respectful names. Right? They got like five or six off top. Mole, menina, garota. Sometimes they say rapaz, which is really for men, right? But they call it uh they call it for women as well bro they got like uh i mean they got linda bonita they have so many different names that you can address a woman as just like we do in the united states bro so she 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 calmed down about it but that's how quick they'll try to misinterpret what you say and then flip the script same shit they did to austin bro same exact thing they did to austin they use his words this chick probably speak a little bit of English, but then she flipped the whole narrative because she don't fully understand. Everybody knows what the hell Austin was saying was not bad. So they twist it. If they don't, they can speak it, understand a little English. If they don't understand it. They'll just put their own interpretation of what they think the words are being said, which is bullshit, which can cause many problems, bro, as we have seen. And as we continue to see. So she said, I don't speak English and I understand a little. The whole story moved me so much that I started taking English classes. And my current teacher warned me about exaggerating my interpretation. Huh. 
I was actually thinking I was doing justice. I'm studying English and it's going to be impossible with two classes. She's saying all this like I give a fuck, but I can communicate as I would like. There's a level of debt that I'm not going to get in right now on the subject of tourist exploitation moves me a lot. Where did I do that? Who knows? Maybe one day I'll be able to have a uh, repertoire of communication with me, probably, or with somebody else. I was very hooked. The most important thing is to say that I recognize you as a person. I know how aggressive I was when calling you a gringo. For that, I also apologize. Right? Me, I hate when Brazilians or anybody refers to me as a gringo. Or if I'm walking the street, oh, Americano. That shit is rude as hell. That's like if I, if that's, bro, we know what type of rights foreigners have when they go to the United States. Now, if you, if you, if you are rude to them, disrespectful to them, that shit, I mean, people do it all the time, but that shit is not cool, bro. If I see in the streets in the United States, I'm like, oh, look, there's that Brazilian. Look at that gringo right there. That shit is rude as hell, bro. That shit is rude as hell. And she literally texting me right now. Anyways, this message is for that. To, to apologize for the exaggerations in my judgment. With all my heart, I reflected a lot. I was going to let time pass. Classes advanced to have vocabulary to be able to communicate. Unfortunately, the reflection came late. I made a mistake. What makes me the saddest above everything is have fallen into the trap of accepting that a white friend interpreted every situation. If you knew what this girl was about, she is all for the black empowerment, the um, the the black family, the black family structure, black, 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 black activists, right? Black, black, black. Everything on her profile is black, 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 black. But you let a white friend interpret all this shit for you and twist your mind that much? A white friend interpreted every situation a racist and very prejudiced reading. So you let a racist white person interpret all this for you. Bro, you can't make this shit up if you tried a million times, bro. I hope with all my heart that in your time you can understand that my heart is not bad. I was thinking you were idiots. I was, it's just you were having fun amongst friends. It is always time to review a thought in search of having light heart. I was able to accept direction from a friend who seemed to protect me. This does not release me from responsibility for making harsh accusations against her videos. She didn't, I, I'm not going to go up and scroll, but she has some, some disgusting shit to say about me. And I wasn't even a, I wasn't even a person that did shit wrong. All I did was like, yo, thank you for inviting us. You know what I'm saying? And 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 her and Dylan looked good. They was matching their clothes. I was showing them in the video. He's saying, yo, this is her sister's brand, blah, blah, blah. She was cool off camera. We was talking. She said she liked us, vibing with us. When when me and Freddie left, she was like, Oh my gosh, I love your friends. They're cool. We all went out to eat. At the little buffet I showed you guys, we was vibing, laughing, all that type of shit. She followed me on IG. She said, oh, my gosh, I love your page. You're into art as well. Like, bro, and the flip like this is, is crazy to me. And it was just out of pure jealousy, envy, and hatred, bro, because she saw Dylan with other people, and Dylan left her. Mind you, this girl showed up to Dylan's house unannounced while we was in Rio to go get her clothes when she knew we he had said you can come back later but she started tripping he said come back tomorrow so she went back over there for a few items maybe a pair of shoes or a shirt or some shit just she could have got that shit and left but she got it and stayed bruh you feel me like this shit like that is manipulated as hell's narcissistic anyways out of sheer ignorance, I'm sorry with all my heart. I wish you to be happy and have great experience with Brazilian culture. Forgive me for the excess. I really thought I was fighting for justice.
What justice? Heartfelt forgiveness and success for your next creations. I wish all my heart that you are happy. When a young black person fulfills his dreams, we contribute to the constructions of an imaginary that inspires other young people. Okay. I honestly don't care to hear anything from you. And I, and I stand on that shit. I don't give a shit, bro. You blew a situation out of proportion. So I told her, you blew, you blew up a situation out of pure jealousy and ignorance. I'm not looking for anything other than to ease my conscience. Keep calm. I won't bother anymore. I, she's just steady texting. I ain't even saying shit. I'm reading it, but I'm not responding. Let's go on. I had a very big lesson. I learned a very big lesson pretty much. Good day. Have a good day. And thanks for listening. Bye. And I responded, guilty conscience is what you're feeling. You knew you were being evil and rude. Now you feel guilty. You knew I only respected you, which I only showed the utmost respect for this chick when I saw her, bro. I never, I never downplayed her. I never disrespected her. All her family was there when we went to the waterfall. Her friends. I was respectful of everybody. Everybody. But it's all, I said, but it's always Brazilians twisting the words of Americans to put Americans in a bad light. And I gave her the finger. That's just how I feel. I ain't shit that can make me feel different. She said, I accept that you are angry. Yes, voice is right. I feel guilty and unresponsible for my words. Exactly why I'm here with humility. messages right now. Uh, I feel guilty and responsible for my words. Exactly why I'm here with humility, acknowledging that we that he made a mistake. Well, she's saying that she made a mistake. Uh, don't generalize. The lesson I learned is that we are people living in the world and we deserve to have our subjective respected. I generalized and now we have a consequence to deal with. I'm a good person and we didn't get to know each other very well, but I can see that you're also looking to make your dreams come true. There's no way to undo what's been done, but I can lighten the weight by acknowledging my mistakes. Sincere, sincere apologies. So all in all, guys, Really and truly, I don't give a shit what her apology is. I don't, I, I mean, she can send me a million apologies. Cool. I don't care. But it's it's a time and place to put shit in its place, bruh. And, and, and situations like this is where these chicks are just trying to me too shit. It's happening in Brazil. Other day, I had my first uh, American football practice in Brazil, and this shit was popping up on my phone as I'm in the car with other Brazilians that speak English, Brazilian men, and with uh, with the American guy. He's our quarterback. So I'm explaining what the fuck is happening, right? And I'm looking, I'm reading this shit, I'm explaining it to him. He was like, bro, and the Brazilians are just like, bro, the feminist movement in Brazil is picking up so fast. And it's moving so quick that it's it's a lot of people just can't say shit. So I'm telling you that in in, in about five years, bro, Brazil is gonna look hella different. It's gonna look different on many scales. Financially, it's gonna be different. Uh, feministically, I don't even know if that's a word, but I just made it up. Feministically, it's gonna be different. The culture is 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 gonna change, bro. Um, it's already doing it. Trust me. <clears throat> it's it's about the chances of running into a feminist chick today in Brazil is a fifty fifty shot. Well, I'll say it's about it's about thirty seventy. Thirty seventy. In a few years, it's gonna be about fifty to sixty percent possible that you're gonna run into a chick. So that means. Out of 10 girls that you meet, five of them, five of them, four of them going to be full out feminists. One of them going to be on the fence with possibly converting into a feminist. So it's going to equal out to about 50 percent, bro. Or maybe more. And Brazilian men, have, they seeing it, they saying it. And I wish in those moments I can get this shit on camera so y'all can see that I'm not just the one saying it. These are people who live here from here saying it. Right. So, um, this was all, this was almost another case of me too. 
All right. This is not the first time a chick has done this to me. It's not the first. I've been in Brazil for a good amount of time. Like I told you guys before, I've been at the beach. But this is before Durag Bay, right? I've been at the beach, having a good time, vibing, ha and having a great time with, with somebody. We do our thing. And then she see another video with another chick. Or she see me in the street passing. And she don't, she sees me, but I don't see her. And she's sending me all types of messages and shit, talking shit. Delete my fucking video. I can't believe you. I'm like, bro, we not even together. I never promised you shit. I never said we was together. They do that here. So it's just like, what the fuck? It's not the first time, bro. It happened to Austin. It, it, bro, it happens. I've seen it happen to Austin in person. Chicks get pissed off. They see other people. That we, they were at a party. They see another girl talking to you or whatever. They want you to delete everything that exists from them. They want you to delete a video that they made consensually. They want you to delete the video. Like, bro, what? So I edited this chick out of those videos. And she was wanting me to do it that same day. Right? This girl right here. She's like, you need to delete me out of these videos right now. And this was on a Thursday, I think. Thursday or Friday. I was like, yo. I'll delete that shit by Monday. I'm going to enjoy my weekend. You go enjoy yours. But I, I don't jump and bark when you say. I'm going to delete the shit when I get ready to. Because I've already posted the video. Now I have to figure out how to delete something. How to edit you out of something that's already been produced and uploaded. So I got to figure out how to do that shit. I'm not just going to stop what I'm doing. Stop my weekend and do that shit. I'll do it Monday when I get time. Or Tuesday. I think I end up doing it by Tuesday. So I edited her portion out of the video, which was in two videos, all but maybe 30 seconds. <laughs> it was like, bro, you tripping about nothing. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I know this video is long as hell, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this, right? I know a lot of people still going to come to Brazil, and I'm telling you, still come to Brazil. Have a good time. You're going to have a great time in Brazil, but you need to be aware that shit like this is growing and it can happen to you, bro. And the last thing I want to see is Americans get caught up in situations where you're, you're, you're with a chick, could be a day, two, three days, four days, five days a week. And then y'all are not a thing. Y'all are just kind of just hanging out. Like they say in Brazil, ficanches, right? Y'all staying together. Y'all, y'all doing y'all adult activities together in y'all's houses and she see you with somebody else now she's pissed off and now she's trying to she's trying to uh use that as leverage let's say y'all take a picture together y'all let's say you let's say you post it somewhere let's say y'all vibe and you create a dope ass video or something it's a great possibility that if she see you with somebody else she will definitely try to process you to the authorities bro because she don't want to be a part of your your harem or whatever the fuck they think is going on which ain't shit bro we just we created a dope moment i i want to keep that shit as a memory right and if you see me with somebody else there is no reason why you should be mad there is no reason bro you don't own me i don't own you if i see you with another guy i'm not gonna be pissed <laughs> like i'm not bro especially here in brazil i'm not gonna be pissed if i see you walking out you know how many chicks i've met i've i've been with and I see them with other guys. Either sometimes other Americans, other gringos. I don't give a fuck. I don't care, bro. That was our time. We did whatever we did. We had a vibe. Cool. That's it. There's nothing else to that shit, bro. The thing people need to realize is that in Brazil, there's not a lot of guys who going who going just um, I don't even know if I want to say that. What I will say is that there's a lot of opportunities to date women in Brazil. So if one is not cooperating, bro, there's options. If you don't want to be in Salvador, there go to go to another city, go to another state. There's endless options to meet somebody that is great. So I don't think, I think they, I think Brazilian women know that, but they don't want to accept it. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm saying that wrong, but I feel like there is 
a million of them. So why would I trip over one? And we're not a thing. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not cooperating with me, we're not on the same page, we're not agreeing on shit, I could easily... We can easily go our separate ways and I can meet somebody else. Right? But the difference is, is that the financial side of it as a man, right? And as a man who makes uh, currency that's not in hay ice. If I, if, let, let me, let me make sure I say this shit correctly for somebody trying to twist what the hell I'm saying. I think y'all know where I'm going, Right? As a man of means who has financial stability and, and, and consistently making money, teaching people how to make money, I'm not hurting financially, right? So as you, for you as an American or wherever you're from that makes five times more than the income in Brazil, I'm not saying that your money controls women. I'm not saying that. Your money... they. A lot of Brazilians don't even give a fuck about the, how much money you make. But I'm painting a picture to say that women here, as, as, as quick as it would be for me to, for, for you to go and meet another, um, another woman, right? Another woman. You could change her life overnight if you wanted to. Because financially you could. But a woman, that goes for anywhere. A woman can't just go to all these different options and, and for her to just get her, her, her life changed overnight, basically. I feel like if a man can change your lifestyle at a drop of a dime and he treats you good, he's a fucking catch, bro. Because you can't find that anywhere else. If you did, you would be with them. So in Brazil, is there men who, who make good money? Yeah. But are those men looking for you? Right? Do you have access to those men? It's the same in the States, but the, but the scale uh, of the numbers monetary-wise are lower. Right? So if I wanted to go, if I just want to go outside right now and find a random girl and change her life, I could do that. But she can't just go to a, a guy in the street, the first guy she meet, and he's going to change her lifestyle overnight. He can't do that. So that's the point that I'm making. And I feel like they could just... They just feel like they have all these unlimited options and all this shit. But anyways, guys, um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Because at this point, I'm just ranting. But it's things that you need to know when coming to Brazil. Um, <clears throat> Brazil is a very beautiful place. Culture is very beautiful. The people are, are great. But there are people who, who can show you a bad side of Brazil, um, specifically in the, dating, in the dating pool, right? And it's just not a good look. And it's happening more and more and more consistently, time after time, back-to-back -back incidences, um, more frequent now than a year ago. A year ago, when I first got to Brazil, I didn't see any of this shit. And within a year, it's completely flipped. So if it keeps going the way it's going, I would say in like four to five years, bro, Brazil, it's a huge country. I know a lot of people say it's a, Brazil's a huge country. It's no, it's no possible way, bro. It is possible. It's possible. It's possible, bro. For um, a lot of these women to start indoctrinate themselves with this type of mindset is very possible. It's already happening. So uh, last year, like I said, last year when I was here, when I first got here, I didn't see any of this. And I was still filming. I just didn't post it on YouTube. I was still filming. I was still uh, recording people. I was still doing all this shit, vibing, having a good time. Nobody had an issue with nothing. All right? It was all going on my Instagram, my close friend shit, my main story, just vibing, having a good time at the beach, popping. All right? 
and and a year later the shit just picked up crazy amounts compared to last year. So I feel like, in my honest opinion, Brazil will look different financially. The hay ice is definitely going to tank more, and um, <clears throat> this whole feminist movement is going. The the hay ice is going to go down, and the feminism is going to go up. And it's just not going to be a place that we once thought it was. It's still going to be Brazil, but it's not going to be as. It's not going to be as. Um, exciting you got to move a lot differently it's going to be a lot of alter it's going to be a lot of alterations that you're going to do to really enjoy it still right because we know in the states back then you didn't have none of that shit that goes on now as far as the feminist movement and you can't even approach women to ask them hey how they doing without what are you doing so close to me why are you speaking to me all this shit it's going to happen in Brazil, bro, it's probably not gonna happen as quickly, but it's going to happen, bro. It's going to happen. And this girl keeps texting. It's literally, just another message just popped up. I will not answer anymore. Not interact. Time uh, will try to put things in their proper places. I have no intentions of being your friend. I don't have contact. Uh, I'm here because it's important to recognize our mistakes. I reiterate apologies for my mistakes and judging. I reiterate apologies for having generalized. I really feel for you. Goodbye. Why are you steady texting me, bruh? Anyways, guys, I'm out of this video. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this shit. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. We'll see you guys in the next video.